Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I've got another Spider-Man themed video for you guys because my god, he's having one hell of a week. For example, three things have happened. One, the tickets for No Way Home released on Monday, of course, as I'm sure everybody knows at this point. Two, it was confirmed mere hours after the tickets release that Spider-Man will be getting three more movies with Sony. That's Tom Holland, so Tom Holland's sticking around for three more Spider-Man films, which is amazing. I'm very happy to hear that, so that means we're getting another trilogy, which means he's sticking around the MCU for a little while longer than we thought, because until now, this was going to be his second-to-last appearance at all, like completely. So we were getting quite worried, but now we've got him for at least four more films after No Way Home, so... Woo! Um, and of course, today as of time recording, yesterday, for when this releases, was the release of the DLC for the Avengers based on Spider-Man. And, yes, this week is a hell of a good week for me because you guys know how much I love Spider-Man. So, it's been a pretty good week for me so far. Like, I've had the ticket release, haven't bought any yet, although I probably will at some point soon. Of course, the, the, new tril the second Spider-Man trilogy announcement is just, yes. And I haven't played the, the DLC yet for Spider-Man, because it hasn't come out yet as at the time of recording. But hopefully, it's amazing. I'm sure it is, because I've got to say, for all the hate this game is receiving, I've loved all of it. Except for the boss fight with Monica Rambo. No, not Monica Rambo. R <laughs> Monica Rampuccini. Got the wrong Monica there, Cameron. But yeah hated that boss fight it took so 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 long with a friend of mine if you're watching this let's face it we know the pain we know the pain my friend but yeah i honestly can't wait to play this dlc i have no doubt it'll be it'll be just as good if not better than black panthers however unfortunately for non ps4 slash ps5 users this dlc is a ps4 slash 5 exclusive because, of course, Sony owns Spider-Man, and yeah. So, sadly, if you want to play the Spider-Man DLC, you've got to have Avengers on PS4 slash PS5, which is really sad. Like, I feel really bad for you guys who aren't playing on PS4 slash PS5. Um, I'm just thankful that I am one of the ones who are, who are, who are playing on it, but... Uh, I don't know what to say for you guys who aren't, like, sorry guys, but I'm sure there'll be Let's Play videos on it. I can more or less promise you there'll be Let's Play videos. And I know you shouldn't have to resort to that, like, I wish with every fiber of my being that it was available everywhere. But, yeah. And of course, with it being an exclusive, means that it won't tie too much into the main story. Because, of course, that will affect the entire game on all major platforms including the ones that don't have Spider-Man. So they've kind of... I, I'm assuming they've restricted him a little bit to his own pocket in the story, which is kind of sad. Because again, I don't want Spider-Man to just be a quick throwaway thing that they... Yeah, we've done this. Okay, we're done. Like, I want him to be more, but I know that he can't be. Because, of course, the whole exclusivity situation. So, kind of sad about that. But hey, I have seen some of the alternate suits they've got for him in the game. A lot of them are based on Spider-Man designs from across the Spider-Verse. We, of course, have some brand new designs to the game, which look amazing. But we've got, we've, of course, got some pretty notable ones, such as Spider-Man Noir, Iron, the Spider-Armor Mark I, which is from the Spider-Man 90s cartoon. I think it was a multiverse ep or Spider-Verse episode. And it was the Silver Spider-Man, the one that was literally wearing a Spider-Man armor. So that's pretty cool to see, but... I've got to say, the classic suit that they've given him, like, his bog-standard suit looks absolutely amazing. Like, I honestly can't wait to play this DLC. Once I do, I will definitely be talking about it on Twitter, because I'll, 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 I'll have played it before this video comes out. So, be sure to let you guys know how good it is. And if you've deleted the game, because I know this game isn't universally popular, I will be sure to let you guys know if it is worth re-downloading, because I've got a strong feeling that it will be. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it on this video for the hell of a week Spider-Man's had. And I can't wait to see what it all... 
I can't wait to see it all come to fruition by the time the video comes out, and of course when Spider-Man No Way Home releases. And that's it for this video. So as always, people, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Mine Rock Sands and Frost's channels. That link's in the description, my sub button is down there. Yeah, that big red one, unless you've already subbed. And it's grey. Thanks for that, by the way. And once you've done that, don't forget to click all three of our bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know which piece of Spider-Man content you're most excited for out of the three that have been announced this week, slash released. <laughs> once you've done that too, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They'll be in the link tree in the description. Don't forget as well to follow Sam on her blog and Frost on his Instagram. The links are also in the description below my link tree. And lastly, of course, don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye!